welcome friends in this video let's discuss about sites convention so these sites are also called as convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora it is an international agreement between the governments of various countries which was entered into force in 1975 and it is the only treaty it is the only convention which ensures that international trade in plants and animal species does not threaten their survival in the wild because we use the plants and animals and their products for various daily requirements including uh, as a source of food as a source of uh, pharmaceutical products and drugs and also for meeting various requirements like uh, for making uh, beautiful be beautiful articles like belts bags leather bags and also idols okay so this international trade in plants and animals if not regulated properly through various international cooperation and institutional mechanism it may result in extinction of the plants and animal species itself because of the over exploitation and also international organized uh, organized agencies so this sites in that is convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora was signed to regulate the international trade in plants and animals which are endangered okay so this sites is administered through united nations environment program unep okay its secretariat is in geneva switzerland and this convention protects roughly 5000 species of animals and 29000 species of plants uh, against over exploitation through international trade so it regulates this vast range of plants and animal species uh, in the international trade thereby preventing them from from extinction uh, due to over exploitation so this convention has three appendixes under which a uh, list of various plants and animal species are included uh, which accord at different di differential degrees of protection so under the appendix 1 the species of plants and animals which are threatened with extinction and here these plants and animals are provided greatest level of protection these animals include gorilla sea turtles lady slipper orchids and giant pandas like tiger giant pandas tigers elephants and other animals and in the appendix 2 this includes animals and plants which are currently not threatened with extinction but may become extinct if the trade is not regulated so this all those animals are included in appendix 2 of the convention in the appendix 3 species for which a range country has asked other parties to help in controlling international trade okay uh, the, this is a international cooperation in regulating the trade this include map turtles warlesses cape stag beetles and other animals so uh, under this appendix as various different animals and plant species are included uh, which are accord at different degrees of uh, protection through various regulations permits and certificates and how does this site works this site works by subjecting international trade in specimens of selected species to certain controls so the trade is subjected to certain controls which includes all import export and re-export introduction of a particular species in an area are covered by the convention has to be authorized through a licensing system so import export must be authorized by a licensing system okay so import and export of uh, certain species which are mentioned in the convention should get the license before taking in international trade so each party to the convention must must designate one or more management authorities that means each country which are signatory to the convention must de designate the national management authority in the form of an institution in charge of administering the licensing system so this management authority must provide licensing for taking out uh, taking over international trade in certain plants and animal species and other institution called scientific authority must be established by the same country to advise the management authority uh, in the areas of the status of the species uh, if it is in the international trade okay there is management authority which provides license for trading and also scientific authority which provides advice to the management authority must be established by the member countries according to the convention so the structure here include the conference of parties 
was maintained by the even ep secretariat okay and it has standing committee and also conference of parties has animal committees and plant committees which uh, guides and also provides policy framework for regulating the international trade so even though it is successful uh, in regulating the international trade it has various limitations because this sites per se do, do not have enforcement authority of its own it has to rely on the member countries for the enforcement of its rules and regulations so sites do not have their own enforcement agency so it has to depend on the member countries that means sites in order to regulate the international trade has to rely on member country like india to enforce the rules and regulations which are provided in the convention through various means as i mentioned in the previous uh, slide through management authorities which provide license in the member countries and scientific authority which provide scientific advice to these man management authorities and second is that uh, under the convention uh, various uh, uh, plants and animal species are seized because of illegalities and this seized plants and animals are released into the non native areas itself without bringing them into the origin state so if it is released in the areas of seizure it may it may interfere in the local ecosystem so it may act as a alien species so it may interfere in the local ecosystem so this is this is not good according to the present practices and third one is that this over restriction in the international trade is fueling the black marketing in the trade of uh, plants and animals okay uh, this include black marketing in the rhino horn uh, tiger bone which which is which is used for making traditional medicines in the china and elephant ivory for making beautiful dolls uh, and various figure um, figures okay and this these are all the limitations of these sites so this shows this 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 uh, table shows that uh, the global trade in mammals okay uh, the largest importer of mammals is united states followed by china then japan vietnam france spain italy okay this is the hierarchy so the largest importer is the united states and the largest exporter of mammals in the world is the china china uh, followed by cambodia vietnam so these are all the uh, countries uh, which have least uh, least regulatory framework uh, in the international trade and so thereby it is exporting a uh, vast number of plants and animal products so sorry mammals uh, to other parts of the world so this is it about sites for previous videos click here uh, in the in this corner uh, for all the environment and ecology videos thank you thanks for giving me this opportunity